In today's video we will learn about the bones in our skeleton and what they do by having them explained by a pretty cool orthopaedic surgeon aka a bone doctor. But before we begin, hit that subscribe button and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen right now. What's up guys, it's me Mr. Bradley and today we're learning about the bones in our skeleton and what they do. And here today to help us is none other than Dr. Chris Rayner. Dr. Chris is a pretty awesome orthopaedic surgeon and former teacher who has his own YouTube channel educating people about sports injuries, orthopaedic surgery and fitness. Take it away, Dr. Chris. Hey, Mr. Bradley, Dr. Chris Marina here. And today, I'm gonna to explain to you why humans and animals have a skeleton. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about each part of the skeleton. Humans and animals require a skeleton for three main reasons. One, to support our bodies. Two, to protect our vital organs. And three, to allow us to move. So Dr. Chris, can you explain to us what bones make up our skeleton? The skeleton, 206 bones in total, Hello. is made up of a number of important bones that include the skull, our spines, the humerus, yes, very humerus indeed, the ulna and radius, the many bones that make up our hands such as the carpals, metacarpals and phalanges, our rib cage, the pelvis, no, not you, Elvis. We said the pelvis. Although, I do have to admit, Elvis does like to shake his pelvis. The femur, the tibia and fibula, and the bones that make up the foot, such as the tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. Notice that we have phalanges in both the hands and the feet. Thanks Dr. Chris for listing the different bones that make up our skeleton, but now I think it's time for us to learn about what each of those bones does. The skull. This is a structure made up of several bones that fuse together at sutures to form a rigid container to protect your brain. It protects the soft brain inside. The rib cage. This is another group of bones that is joined together at the spine in the back and the sternum in the front. These bones form a cage that protect the soft organs inside, such as the lungs, the heart, and some of the digestive organs. The cool thing about the rib cage is that it changes in shape when you breathe to allow air to enter into and exit out of the lungs. The spine. This is yet another group of bones that are stacked one on top of the other to create a frame that support your skull on top, your arms, your pelvis, and your legs below. The vertebrae are stacked one on top of the other so that we are able to walk upright on two legs rather than on four like other animals. The pelvis. This is a part of the skeleton that connects the upright spine above to the legs below. It is quite rigid and very sturdy. Inside, it also protects digestive organs and organs of the urinary tract. The femur. This is the main bone of the legs and the largest bone in the body. It attaches to the pelvis above and the knee below. It's also important to note that the femur is a very strong bone in our body. The reason for this is that it has to support most of our body's weight on top of it. All of these bones connect together in joints. Thanks a lot, Dr. Chris. Okay, put on your thinking caps. It's time to play Albert Spinstein. Number one, touch your skull. Your skull is located in your head. So if you're touching your head, you are correct. Number two, what is this bone called? The answer was the spine. Number three, what does a rib cage protect? A, the bladder and kidney. B, the brain and liver. C, the heart and lungs. D, the lungs and stomach. The answer was C, the heart and lungs. Number four, what is the biggest bone in the body? The answer was the femur. Number five, touch your humerus. The humerus is located in the upper part of the arm. So if you're touching the top of your arm, you are correct. Chris, 
Now that we've learnt about the bones in our skeleton, why not grab yourself some glue and Q-tips and have fun making and labelling your own skeleton at home or in school. Recap time! There are 206 bones in our body, including the skull, spine, rib cage, humerus, radius, ulna, pelvis, femur, fibula and tibula. The skull protects our brain, the spine acts as a frame to the other bones to attach to and allows us to stand upright. The rib cage protects our vital organs such as the heart and lungs. The pelvis is attached to our femur to allow us to move and protects the various organs in our abdomen such as the bladder and rectum. The femur is the biggest bone in our body and needs to be strong enough to support most of our body's weight. If you enjoyed this video then why not check out some of the other videos on my channel such as the three different types of animal skeletons in which I go diving with thousands of stinging jellyfish and hunting for crabs. A big shout out to the primary 6 class in Kalinchi Primary School whose teacher Mr McCann has reached out to me to say that they are really enjoying the videos. Thanks so much for the support guys and stay curious. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always thanks for watching, see you next time.